The coronavirus is hitting all aspects of the world pretty hard. The trickle down effects are infinite. In the Chicago suburbs, dozens of homeless people could wind up out on the streets after church shelters shut down. Morning Insider Tim McNicholas looks at the heroic efforts to keep a roof over their heads. Heidi Meyer is a jack of all trades. She usually rallies volunteers for Journeys, a nonprofit that helps the homeless. But in a health pandemic, volunteers are scarce. Packing meals to deliver to the hotels, we typically have never done that actually. You see, the people who will eat these meals typically get connected with homeless shelters and other resources through Journeys. Thanks to COVID-19, many of the shelters Journeys works with are closed. So now Journeys is taking homeless people to hotels in this minibus. As you can imagine, there is a huge difference in cost between housing someone at a hotel versus a shelter. The staff says they need donations. I thought, why not get a fundraiser going? John O'Neill and his classmates at St. Vider High School have already raised more than $1,000 through a GoFundMe, enough to put one person at a hotel for a few weeks. But now we've decided to make a new goal of getting two people into the hotels so they can have shelter for three weeks. And a religious organization called the Clerics of St. Viator is donating $63,000, enough for 60 clients. It, it means a lot. Thanks to those funds, the Taylors have a place to stay. Mom and Dad lost their jobs months ago, and they've depended on the shelters that are now closed. If we didn't have journeys to help us, we really won't have a, a plan, plan B, plan A, none of that. But the nonprofit still needs donations to house about 40 more clients. Their journey continues. Tim McNicholas, CBS2 News. Journey says with the ongoing health risk, three weeks may not be enough at a hotel, so they need more funds for longer stays.